I'm saying the just shall live by faith. Glory to God. And I thank God for that. I want to uh, start with the Bible says, but what saith the Lord? The word is thy thee, even in thy mouth and in my, thy heart, that is the word of faith, which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, that shall be, and thou shalt be saved. How many believe that God raised Jesus yes. from the dead? Amen. 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 And I tell you, all we got to do, church, is confess Jesus, amen, that he did die for our sins. Amen. He went to Calvary. Glory to God. And, and uh, the Bible says that after 40 days, well, really, uh, he was crushed up to heaven and everything. But church, I thank God that this, this plan of salvation was simple. But I just wonder why so many people can't continue to work to follow Jesus. There are so many people starting the way in some way or somehow. Now, church, I'm talking about experience because I experienced it. Experience is just like everybody else. And I thank God, finally, Jesus, amen, through the Holy Spirit, showed me what my problem was. Yes. And I tell you, church, I thank God that he loved me enough to let me know. Praise God. Bible says in verse 10, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth is, is made unto salvation. Now, church, it's good, amen, to say with your mouth, amen, that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. But, church, we got to say it from our heart. We can, This is a heart salvation. Amen. All people confess, amen, they know Jesus, and they uh, said that uh, they accepted Jesus, but it didn't go to the heart. Well, the Bible said there what it's all about, amen. The heart has to change, and the heart has to have Jesus. Glory to God. Now, the Bible says that, that uh, verse 12, there is no difference, amen, between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord is over, is over all, is written to all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank God, church, that the scriptures are so plain that I just wonder, I'm going to preach tonight. There is only one thing I have to do to remain saved. Amen. The devil tries to make it so hard. The people tries to make it so hard. But it's not that hard, church. I thank God, amen, that I believe in Jesus. Now, first of all, I thank God that I've been... Being filled with the Holy Ghost. This is something that every Christian Amen. needs to know. Yes. The need to have is the Holy Ghost. But you know what, church? We have a lot of Holy Ghost filled people. Amen. And no longer serving the Lord. Right. Can I hear an amen? amen. And church, the, the Holy Ghost is good and it will help us. Glory to God. And then also we have to look at tonight is uh, I pay my tithes. How many pays your tithes? Don't, don't raise your hands. How many? We pay our tithes. What we're trying to do, church, is win favor with God. Oh. Amen. We don't have to win no favor with God, Brother Tony, because Jesus has already paid the price. Amen. He gave us the grace and the love, Amen. glory to God. And therefore, I, and we need to pay our tithes. We need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And, church, and we need to come to church. And can I hear an amen? amen? And when we come to church, we need to get in and worship him and praise him and learn everything we can about Jesus. Amen. amen. But why are so many people going back upon God that's filled with the Holy Ghost and, and come to church and pay their tithes and, and it seems like they just love God, but somewhere or somehow they, they get to the side. Can I hear an amen? Amen. And I believe, church, let me tell you, every Christian, I don't care how long he's been serving the Lord or how little he's been serving the Lord. Now, when I first got saved, amen, I had some little foxes. And I said, I had some little foxes. I know, amen, that Jesus saved me. I know I was saved on my way to heaven, but I still had problems. I, you know what, church, we, we got problems with this old place, like I said, many times. And, and this old, even though that we're, we're dead to sin, amen, we still have problems with this old place. And uh, the devil knows how to get you. I said, the devil knows how to push your button. Can I hear an amen? amen. What are you trying to say, Brother Mike? We've got those little foxes that God allows, amen, the devil to do that, amen, to show us that we haven't arrived, Jesus, right. amen. But what keeps us going? Well, I learned one thing, amen, as being a Christian. Now, when I first got saved, I had a problem with my mouth. 
Amen. I mean, I was used to saying them dirty words and four little words like it wasn't nothing. Yes. And I tell you, I was actually afraid. Amen. When God called me to preach, that I would, oh, would slip and say something that I shouldn't say. Amen. But the Holy Ghost took here of that. Can I hear an amen? amen. And church, the problem with, the, with these little thoughts that we have, and I begin to struggle with that. I begin to think that I wasn't saved, Brother James, right. because I had a too big a problem with my mouth and, and too big problems with other things in my life that I was facing. And church, I thank God that, that, that tonight that I won the victory, and it was easy after I understood what I needed to do to remain saved. Amen. Number one, church, I don't need man's way Amen. to remind me to how to be saved. Amen. I said I don't need man's right. way. Amen. Man's way. The Bible says God saved us. Amen. The Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become sons of God. So God has already gave me the power to become his son. Amen. I was saved on my way to heaven, but I still had a problem. You, and, and don't act like you know that you don't have problems because we all have problems. Yes, as long yes. as we're in this place, and, and this is what we need to teach the young converts as well as some of the old converts because there are too many going back on the Lord is because I, they, they're having a problem with that old place and, and them little thoughts they man. And church, let me tell you something. Them little sins will cause you to have a lot of problems. I'm not talking about big sins. I'm talking about little things in our life that the devil begins to build up and build up and build up because we try to so hard. We go to church and sing and praise God. We pay our tithes and everything else and try to win favor with God. God has always already given us favor. Can I hear an amen? amen. Thank God through his son Jesus Christ. I've got favor. I've got blessing. I mean I'm just blessed with God because of his son Jesus Christ. But why do people have so much problem amen, of being saved? Staying saved. Being saved and saying saved is two different things. Now, you know what I mean? now the Bible says, this is what it says, the son that even to them that believe upon his name, which was born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but God. See, man tries to tell we sometimes we, we go to church and, and, and these de de uh, denominations and organizations and, and even the church is trying to put laws on you and everything and say it will help you. Church, let me tell you something. They will not help you. Can I hear an amen? Right. Because the more you try to win favor through this, you just can't do it. But thank God, church, like I said, I finally won the victory. And I want the church to know how to win the victory. I want those young converts to know how to win the victory. Yes. The church, because the, the, this whole place where reminds us of, and I don't care how spiritual you are. Now, I don't think there's any man no spiritual than Apostle Paul. And the Bible says that he told that the Romans, he was, let us lay aside every weight and sin. Paul included himself. There's weights in our lives and sins in our lives that we have problems with. And just about the time that we think we're overcomers of it, amen, the devil will pop in and to raise that flesh up, push that button, and here we go again. And the one thing is bigger and bigger every time we, we, don't, we don't put it under Jesus. Can I hear an amen? amen. So it's not the will of man. When I say the will of man, Amen. Now, I was in Church of God in Cleveland, Tennessee for about five, or ten, about five or six years, I guess. I went to their seminars and all this, and, I, and I, we were teaching on philosophy and, and all this other stuff. But I thought that would help me and everything. But I learned to find out when you begin to study about philosophy and everything and, 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 and all this other stuff, what they're trying to do is they're trying to take the place of Jesus Christ. Now, church, nothing takes the place Amen. of Jesus Christ. You can have all the philosophy and all the scriptures and everything else, but you still have problems, and you don't learn. You need to learn to know how to deal with the sins. Can I hear an amen? amen? See, Paul was telling the church that in Colossians, said, "Beware if these any man spoil you through philosophy." And look up the word philosophy and vain deceit. And after that, traditions of men. We've got tradition. Oh, when I first got saved, amen, in, in, the, in the church, we had that we couldn't have long hair. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying? Right. We couldn't have short hair. And, and you couldn't wear a sleeveless a shirt or sleeveless blouse and all this other stuff. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying? Right. What are you trying to say, Brother Mike? That don't make you, amen, 
it don't help you. And if you think that you're winning favor with God because you're doing this, and then you ought to do what? What the, if you want to stay in that organization? What well, you need to obey it. Can I hear an amen? amen. But here Paul says, Be worldly city men, spoil you through ph uh, philosophy and vain deceit and tradition of men. Tra tra the church, church will help us, church. And we, we got we got bylaws. And we need those bylaws. Amen. But you know what, church? That sin ain't going to cause you to overcome sin. Amen. Because we try to live by our brother Jay, and we can't win over that. Amen. That's right. But where I get to it, amen, I get to it. <laughs> I had to learn the hard way. And I don't know why I had been preaching so long time ago. Because it almost caused me to give up on God. After, after God, through the Holy Spirit, showed me, amen, all I needed to do, glory to God, remain saved. I mean, I want victory over the devil. I want victory over sin. Yes. I want victory over the flesh because God began to show me what I needed to do. That's right. Amen. Yes, you know. As the rudiments of the world... Here it is, and not after Christ. Can I read that again? See, we want to follow man's way. Correct. Yeah. Traditions and customs and philosophy and all this other stuff. And we try to take the, we let this try to take the place of Jesus. Nothing, I said, nothing will take the place of Jesus. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? Glory to God. The Bible says. Verse 9 says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead and bodily. If you are complete in him, glory to God. I have completed Jesus Christ to God. Amen. Or I completed with God through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ saved my soul. He sanctified me. He justified me. Glory to God. He washed my sins away. And I don't need nothing else. Glory to God. I don't need man's way. The organization way, denomination way, man's way, whatever it is. I don't need that. I just need Jesus. He paid it all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says that, verse 10 says, and you are completed in him. Colossians 2 and 9 verse says, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Amen. What are you trying to say, Brother Michael? I'm getting to it. Because church, I've been in this for 50 years. And church, it's time. Why are so many Christian people backsliding, going back up on the Lord? And church, if we as older Christians can't stay saved and stay happy and full of joy, how do you expect the young? I didn't have nobody to talk to. I was going through these things and studying these philosophies and everything. But I was still having a problem. I said I was still having a problem. Now don't look at me like you don't have a problem because you do. Yeah. Amen. Lord, you got a mouth, you got a problem. Yeah. Lord, you got a tongue, you got a problem. Yeah. Lord, you got a, 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 what do you call it? Uh, when you get mad, a temper. Okay. A lot of these things. You can lose in church. Yeah. Amen. See, the devil knows how to push your button individually. Yeah. And just about the time you think you got me, it's going to pop back up. Yeah. Envy and strife, yeah. jealousy. Yeah. And people always say, boy, you go to somebody, your best friend, whatever, and say, I need your prayer. Keep praying for me. Every time you see a person, pray for me. I, I, I was the same way at one time. I needed, I needed some help. I need somebody to tell me something. Yes. It's good to have people pray for you. It's good to pray for amen, yourself. But you've got to know, amen, how to win over the devil amen. and how to stay safe. There's only one thing, amen, that you need to do is stay safe. And I'm about to get to it. Glory to God. I don't need a, no good thing added to, to remain saved. That's what it says. Now, uh, the, the Judaizers, they come to, and, and most, see, when they, when they first started the Pentecostal movement in the book of Acts, they would, the, the, these were the Jews. The Pentecostal church was full of Jews, and, and the Judaizers would try to come in and add something right. to the salvation. And we got people today doing the same thing. That we're, that you go to some churches, you, you can receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and church will tell you that's not enough. Right. You gotta pray, you gotta have the Holy Ghost. 
And then they said, if you get the Holy Ghost, then you've got to get baptized in water because you can't go to heaven. Church, when I got saved, amen, I didn't have the Holy Ghost. When I got saved, I didn't have no baptism, praise God. This this happens after I get saved, glory right. to God. But he didn't save me. When I went into that water, amen, I come out, I was still saved because I was saved through the blood of Jesus amen. Christ. And when I got the baptism of the Holy Ghost, glory to God, amen, that, that didn't save me because I was already saved. Amen. Right. People's eyes. We got people today that if you don't join their church, and Catholics are bad about this, in order to be saved, amen, even though they claim Jesus Christ as Lord, then you, you got to also be added to the church. And if your name ain't written in that, on that book in, the, in that church, you're not saved because you can't go to heaven if, you don't, if you're not joining that church. Right. Thank right. God. That's what I was trying to say. You don't need no church. Amen. If you, you just need salvation, but you need a church that just that remains saved. Amen. 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 In other words, you gotta listen to the word. Amen. This is what it says. We don't need circumcision. I don't need, need to be baptized in water. I don't need to join a church. I don't have to pray and fast 40 days to keep God's favor. I don't have to add anything to remain saved. Jesus said in St. John 14 and 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man that can enter to the heaven except through Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying, church? Amen. See, I just need one thing, church. Amen. The Bible says in First uh, in Galatians chapter one, verse eighteen. The Bible says, "And He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning of the firstborn." See, Jesus. Amen. He is my Savior. Jesus is my healer. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is the one I'm looking to come back after me. Jesus is my blesser. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Jesus, he, we got it all, church. If we got Jesus, we got it all. But so many times, people try to put man's way and church's way and everything else, and they're miserable because they're trying to win favor with God, and they're still having the same problem. I had a problem for two, oh, two or three years with this. I fought it, I fought it, I fought it. Thank God one day through the Word of God, the Spirit of God, I found victory. Amen. Who is the beginning of the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. preeminence. Verse 19 says, For he pleased the Father that he gives should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of his cross. Now the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, Chapter 6, verse 11, it tells us when we come to when we come to Jesus, this tells us, first of all, we've been washed. And we've been washed by the blood of Jesus. Paul was telling the Corinthian church in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. Amen. He, he, if you go back up to the top, he was he was showing the Corinthian church some of their problems and some of the problems that God delivered them from. I mean, they were they were days. There was I mean, all kinds of the things that they were having, all kinds of battles that were having, and, and they thought they was they couldn't get saved. There's nothing that no sin that God can't save you. You can be a homosexual, you can be a killer, a baby killer, you can do all these things. But Jesus will, if you come to Jesus, He will save you and deliver you and take His blood and wash your sins away. Glory to God. He washed my sins away. Amen. Then the Bible says. That he, that he said, now I'm sanctified because I've been washed by the blood of Jesus. That means I've been set apart for the glory of the work of Jesus. But now, church, this is the, this is the problem. People think that when they get to hand, you can't get no sanctifier, amen, than being saved. But church, there's a cross that we have to bear. Right. We have to remain saved. We have to remain sanctified. That means we, in order to stay sanctified with God, there's things that we need to learn, amen? Mm -hmm. That's uh, what Paul says, I die daily. Yeah. I beat my body and bring it unto subjection. And these ways of sin that so easy to set me, I give them to Jesus. Yeah. Why are so many people backsliding? Going back upon the Lord. They're having so many problems and difficulties because the churches are not preaching this anymore. Right. I, I mean, they're, they're not. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know what sanctification really means. And justification. He said, now you've been justified. 
God has justified us through the blood of Jesus Christ. He said, now you, you, uh, you're set free. Jesus paid the price. It's paid in full. And you'll be justified before me. And now I can claim you as my sons and daughters. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Not guilty. In past, present, or future, my sins are gone. Your sins are gone. It would be great when God saved us, glory to God, that, that he would take us to heaven. Mm -hmm. But as long as we got this body here, yeah. and he said there's no, there's no flesh will enter into heaven. That means all these problems the flesh has given us, God said you can't have it up here because I don't want it up here. I'm going to give you a brand new glorified body. Amen. You don't have to worry about the, about the, the little foxes and everything else because you're going to have complete victory. But until we get to heaven, we've got some problems and we need to know how to deal with it. I'm telling you a problem, but now we'll tell you how to get rid of them right. and how to win victory. Amen. So many people carry this around and they're, they're sick I need your prayers, I need your prayers. And, and they, won't, they won't tell you what the problem is because they're ashamed, because they're, they're, they're saved, they're sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and they're still having a problem. And they don't know how, what to tell you. I've been there. Amen. I know you've been there. People got problems. Christian people has problems, and they never need to know how to deal with it because they're not preaching it anymore. Right. Thank you, Lord. He said, tell me, he said, I've been worse, sanctified, justified. My, my, all my sins from the past, present, or future are gone. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God, baptize him to God. In other words, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say whether they be things of earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometimes elevated and enriched in, in, in your mind by wicked works. He's talking to the Christians. Can, tell, can we talk to the Christians tonight? This is what it said. Yes. Paul wasn't talking to the sinners. He was talking to the Christians, and they were having a problem. And Paul was dealing with, Paul was dealing with that problem. So back up. It said in the verse 12, And ye that were sometimes elevated and entered into your mind by the wicked works, yet now had he can reconcile you in the body of his flesh through the death of to his present, he presents you uh, holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Now, Paul says in verse 23, underline that. It says, if we continue, amen, amen <clears throat> in the faith, grounded and settled and not be moved away from the hope of the gospel. What is the gospel? Jesus came to save us and set us free, sanctified us, justified us, and keep it, he keeps us holy, glory to God. And when we got a problem, thank God, we know who to go to. Oh, right. you listen to what I'm saying. Amen. The Bible says, Amen. And and it says, which ye have heard, and which we was and which was preached to every every creature which is under the heaven. Now, church, what I learned when I was a Christian, a young Christian, and church is this, this. If I have a problem with sin, those little foxes or, and waste that so easy to set us, amen, I don't have to go and say, Lord, I'll give you five more dollars in my tithe if you'll help me. God, if you'll help me with this problem, I, 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 what I'll do, I'll, I'll pass another day more. Or, or, or I would join the church and I would go to, some people go to church six days a week, amen, and try to please God, and they're not studying, they're not getting into God's word or anything else, but they think they have to do that in order to stay saved. You don't have to do that to stay saved. Right. All you got to do is remember one thing, every time you got a problem, run to Jesus. Amen. I said run to Jesus. He's the one, amen. glory to God, that paid the price. He's the one hung on Calvary, glory to God, and he, and he made a way, Lord, that, and opened up the veil that we don't have to wait for some man or some priest, we can go boldly before the throne of God and say, God, it's me again. You yes, know my Lord. problems and you know I have any victory over it and Jesus will set you free. Yes, he will. Amen. It set me free. Yes. Amen. Finally, I learned, just take it to Jesus. Amen. Just take it to Jesus. Yeah. Hey, just take it to Jesus. When you got a problem with some waste in your life, take it to Jesus. If you're having problems with these little sins in your life, because them little sins will turn to big sins right. if you don't get rid of it. Yeah. They'll weigh you down. 
So all I, all I got to do is remain saved. Because I'm already saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, washed by the blood of Jesus, but I got to remain saved. I don't have to go to man. I don't have to go to the church. You need to go to church. I don't have to pay my tithes. I just need to go to Jesus. Every time. Now, I'm not preaching once in grace, always in grace. I don't believe in just grace. I believe when God saved us by his mercy and grace, and full of mercy and grace, and he made a way. He said, my little children, I would rather you not to sin. But if you do sin, you have an Africa. Run to Jesus. I said, run to Jesus. He will cause us to have victory because he did me victory. And I got victory over this little thing. It took me a little while, but every time I had a problem, I took it to Jesus. I took it to Jesus. I took it to Jesus. He's the one that paid the price and he'll cause you to win victory. Glory to God. Because his love is sufficient. He, he, God is a full head. In other words, I, he, he gave us everything that we need to remain saved. It's what we need to take it to Jesus. Amen. Why do young people have so much trouble with sin and, and backsliding? They think that because and you know, we preach sin and they're backsliding and and everything else that caused them to be condemned and everything, God can take that condemnation and everything away from you. And through the Holy Ghost, and I said we need the Holy Ghost, it will cause us to live a better life. Amen. Amen. Yes. I never will forget when I first got saved, Brother James. Man, they, they talked us. Uh, you got to be saved and sanctified before you feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, no. it, that don't work that way. Yep. You're sanctified when you get saved. That's right. But you got to say, you got to. Stay holy. You gotta stay sanctified, and the Holy Ghost will help you to do that. It'll cause you to be convicted of your sins, or you listen to what I'm saying. It's cause you to have a greater experience with God, and He put a want to in you. Yes. I said He'll put a want to that you want to live right and you want to live holy. I'm not talking about practicing sin. If you practice sin, don't have no condemnation and everything else. You, you need to get saved. Right. You need to come back to the altar and let God re-save you. Yeah. Amen. Because let me tell you, when I sinned and everything, don't do no time, there was conviction on yes. me. And I had to take it to Jesus because that's the only one that could take the conviction yeah. and the sin away from my life. Yes. That's right. Yeah. I feel like a hypocrite sometimes. Yeah. The devil knows how to, how to, how to do it, church. You're not a hypocrite. You're saved and trying your best to live for God. Amen. Just don't give up on God. Right. You, you don't give up on God, God won't give up on you. Right. The Bible tells us. How many times should I forgive my brother, Brother Doss? Seven times, seven. Well, if Jesus told that brother that, would you think Jesus had to do the same thing? Yeah. In other words, don't get tired of coming to Jesus. Don't get tired of coming to Jesus. Amen. He'll keep out on forgiveness and help us. And he'll cause you to live a sanctified and holy life. Amen. That you can win victory over, over these little foxes. Amen. That tries to cause you to backslide and, and have condemnation and don't have no victory. Thank God I had victory and God changed my whole life. Yes. Give him on a head clap, Amen. Amen. Yeah, he did. Yes. I felt like a hypocrite yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I was trying my best to live for God. Amen. Uh, I had a mouth problem, a heart problem, amen, eye problems. Amen. Oh, you listen to what yeah. I'm saying? That's problem. We are, we are God's people. We have problems. But we know who to take it to. Yeah. I learned to take it to Jesus. Yeah. He died for me. Yeah. He hung on the cross of Calvary. That's why Paul said, I preach Christ and him crucified. Every time Paul had a problem, he went to Jesus. Yeah. He kept going to Jesus. Kept going to Jesus. He won a lot of victories. That's I've won a lot of victories. Mm -hmm. I, I had a problem because talks a lot of preachers and they had sinning problems in their life, Brother Dawes. They act like they was holding uh, yeah. holding to me. Right. And they was one fighting the most. They was having problems with the pornography and, and everything else. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying? That's right. They, they were ashamed to take it to anybody. You don't need to take it to anybody. You just need to take it to Jesus because Amen. Jesus knows anyway. If you've got a problem with the sense or a problem with, uh, with uh, philosophy or whatever, take it to Jesus. Amen. He will cause you to walk holy and be justified before God. Yeah. Amen. Well, he is justified to forgive us of our sins. Would you stand tonight?